Ladies and gentlemen, I am with Robert Houston. We're recording this in advance in Mineral Wells, Texas, at the 19th Annual Swing Fest, which is the Cowtown Society of Western Music's Annual Hall of Fame induction and a whole lot of great music. I am with the man I'm calling the trifecta winner, Mr. Robert Houston. Good morning, Robert. Good morning, Billy. How are you this morning? Doing great after all the partying we did last night. I'm telling you, it's amazing we're still we're still standing. <laughs> But we are, and for folks that may not know the name Robert Houston yet, he's a unique success story, or a success in the development really quick. The only man I know to be, as I said, trifecta winner, he's going into three Western Swing Hall of Fames in the same year. The first one is today, of the day we're recording this, May the 6th. 2017, the Cowtown Society of Western Music, Western Swing Heroes Hall of Fame. How are you feeling? Well, I'm feeling just honored and, and so blessed to be recognized for what we're doing with uh, with my program. And, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm going in as promoter of the year, and I know you are too in, in, uh, in a couple of these Halls of Fame, and, and we kind of have to stick together as, as promoters of Western Swing. It's a, it's a genre that... Uh, mainstream media doesn't really recognize a whole lot and play a whole lot and so i think our our goal here is to make more and more people aware of it and so that they can enjoy it like we have all these years correct and what you have is called western swing rules now tell folks about western swing rules and how they can watch it and become involved thanks billy uh yeah western swing rules is a project that i began first of all i, I spent 35 years in in television in arkansas where i live and grew up and uh, grew up listening to Bob Wills music. So I began the program about three years ago producing a, a video series called Western Swing Rules and it's on YouTube. You can find it on YouTube. You can type in uh, Western Swing Rules in the search engine or you can type in Robert Houston Productions which I don't spell it like the city now. I spell it H-U-S-T-O-N so that might throw some folks but uh, you can type that in in the search engine as well and they'll pop up. But what I basically did was I was so aggravated for most of my life the fact that Western Swing kind of got snubbed by mainstream radio. And I was always so mad about that I thought well you know now that I own my own video production business what a better opportunity for me to uh, produce a program and uh, lay it out there on YouTube and on social media so that people can can see it and learn more about Western Swing. And it sort of has developed into a way in which to preserve and promote the genre through performance and education. And even though I started out very simply by filming some great Western Swing acts and just putting clips of, of them on YouTube, it has since developed into a music education series whereby I use, uh, I've been fortunate enough to be able to use only professional touring Western Swing musicians from some mighty great bands to show how to play Western Swing on their respective instruments. And it's turned out great. The response has been overwhelming. The musicians who I've um, have featured on the program have been more than gracious with their time. And once they find out why I'm doing this, they're more than happy to help. But uh, I have over 2,100 subscribers on, on my YouTube channel. I have a large following and uh, I have hundreds of thousands of views on these programs and so in some small way, this is my way to co help contribute to preserving Western Swing. And a fine job, obviously, going into the Cowtown Society of Western Music, Western Swing Heroes Hall of Fame. You'll be going into the Northwest Western Swing Music Hall of Fame and the Southwest Western Swing Music Society Hall of Fame. Three, that's why I called you the trifecta winner in one year. That's uh, simply amazing. It means that you're doing a real good job of catching people's attention and you're starting to diversify a little bit like you did an interview with myself and Kathy Whitten, the owner of KSSL that'll be uh, featured on Western Swing Rules and uh, that's what you were talking about. We all stick together to perpetuate and promote the music, the art form. It, you're right and, and kudos to you and, and to Kathy both and KSSL Radio for what you guys do every week and throughout the week. I mean, you're an independent radio station. You're not beholden to some corporate uh, holding somewhere out of, out of state or anything like that. You guys play what you want to play and what the folks, are, uh, your audience want to hear. And I, I really congratulate you guys for doing that because 
you don't find that anymore. Uh, it's it's very very rare, and I know that you with what with your program you are really helping to perpetuate the genre as well. And so you know, we're, like I said earlier, we're all kind of in this together. The Western Swing family is a large but small family, and uh, that's from performers, dancers, uh, and lovers of the genre. And so we all kind of have to stick together to make sure that we can preserve this for future generations. And, and one of the great things I've always loved about Western Swing, and I'll divert a little bit from your, from your question, one of the great things I've always loved about Western Swing, it is multi-generational. I have never been to any other sort of music event where you have grandchildren dancing with grandmas and grandpas or moms and dads dancing with sons and daughters or grandpas and grandmas. I mean, it's, you find folks of all ages at a Western Swing event everybody's happy, everybody's tapping their toes, or they're dancing, and they're having a great time. And you don't see that in any other genre that I'm aware of. And also, the other great thing, too, is that you have a lot of seasoned Western Swing musicians. You'll, want, you'll see them at these events, and they'll be helping younger people with their instruments and helping them show them how to play a certain lick or something like that. And that's really, I think, the essence of of what Bob Wills honed his music into being is this very family type atmosphere um, and just play for everybody. And I think that that is one of the reasons why the, the, the fans of Western Swing are so loyal to the music. They don't want any diversions, from, they don't want anything too fancy, they, they just want it right down the middle. And they want to keep it just as it's always been the way they've grown up listening to it. And I think that's a, that's a real unique trait of the music. Yes, and of course, to carry on with the future, it's important that we expose the young people, and we've got a good crop of them coming up, and they're creating new music, because uh, adding to what you just said, we must always keep the Bob Wills music, the Spade Cooley music, the various other artists, Hank Thompson music alive. However, to carry on with it, you need new original material done the right way, and that's true, I think, with many genres of music. I do too, and, and, and you mentioned some of the younger artists that, uh, that are coming up. I'm so impressed with, with, uh, with artists like uh, Kristen Harris, uh, Mickey Daniels, a great writer, uh, wonderful performer. Um, you know, we've got Fiddlin' Jack Phillips, uh, who is, you know, he's 11, and he's cutting albums already. Great fiddler, great musician, uh, great performer. And so, you know, there are so many young folks that are coming up and are keeping not only the tradition of traditional western swing music and I say western swing music not country music because western swing is not country music as you know and very well know but they are also taking the some of the idioms those jazz idioms that you find only in western swing and are applying some of those techniques into what we now call would call traditional country music uh -huh. so I, I think that the you know the future looks really good for for the genre and of course I think with what you're doing with your program and hopefully what I'm able to do maybe with my program by showing some of these veteran musicians with their with their instruments and showing how to play certain things perhaps we can keep it going. Well we're doing a pretty good job at Pierce so uh, congratulations to you again this is Robert Houston we've been visiting with the trifecta winner he's going into three Western Swing Hall of Fames and Congratulations. Keep up the good work, my friend. Well, thank you, Billy. I appreciate it very much. Thank you very much for you, what you do at KSSL. Kathy, all the folks over there, uh, just really do appreciate what you're doing, and thank you for this opportunity to, to meet all your audience. I hope perhaps they'll, they'll go on YouTube and check out some of my, my programs. Give them that address again. All right, just go to YouTube, and you can type in uh, Western Swing Rules in the search engine of, of YouTube, and you'll find all the programs there. Check it out. Go to YouTube, uh, type in Western Swing Rules or Robert Houston, H-U-S-T-O-N Productions, and uh, it'll pop up and you guys can, can take a look at it. I really appreciate you checking it out. All right. We'll do that, folks. Right now we're going to hear some Western Swing music. That's the only way to follow up this visit. Ah. Oh.